and I feel like most people that are listening that haven't yet jumped onto their next path or their next vehicle and they're just in flux and not sure of what to do, paralyze and stay stuck in that state of overwhelm and anxiety. And you know, it takes so much courage to be able to move without knowing how it's going to uh, come to be. But what I'd love for you to talk about just quickly is because we're rocking out this massive interview now, which has been amazing, is what is it like for you as the human that's carrying out these vulnerable, courageous, open, trusting, spirit-led actions? What, how does that make your experience of life different to uh, your life before you started trusting spirit from a fulfillment perspective? One huge aspect of it is... is um not feeling like I'm in it alone. How so? Not, because I got a... Oh, because you got I, spirit OG. I got, I got spirit OG in the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. When I'm, you know, the, that's the modern version of that uh, footprints poem, right? Where it's like when there was only one set of footprints in the sand. It's like there's two... Okay. F- yeah, it's, it's, it's um, a poem about Jesus where it says, um, I saw... Uh, two sets of footprints in the sand as Jesus was walking beside me. But then there's this space where there's only one set of footprints. And, um, you know, why did you abandon me in this moment? And he said, no, I was carrying you. <laughs> and That's amazing. And <laughs> you did, I was carrying you, dot, 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 you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so similarly, like the modern, like the driving, it's like sometimes I, I take my hands off the steering wheel and, and spirit, yeah. it drives, you know, and, it's about doing what is ours to do. I've, I've, I worked 16 hour days for, for a month straight to launch that community. Yeah. It, it, it's not like I'm saying, just sit back, just sit back. It's cool. It's all good. Like, no, the, there is times where you, you are tasked with doing stuff mm-hmm. and, and, and that periods of, of working my ass off. I, I feel like I'm one of the most hard, the, the hardest working individuals that I know I'm, I'm, I work very, very hard. Um, but it cannot come at the expense of my connection. It can't. And so when it starts to get to that pace and what I'm getting, so for myself, my own development, where I'm getting better is it's always been this sprint and then burnout and then need to go like sit in the jungle with the Shipibo tribe for, for three weeks of ayahuasca ceremonies to like reset. And then it's been like this all and then deep, you know, vision quest in the desert or like whatever. I'm getting better at making it a, a balanced thing yeah. where, where it's actually just, I'm finding that balance. That's my yeah. current work. But understanding that there. I don't, I don't want to give the impression that it just like takes care of itself. Mm. You will, you, it, it can be very difficult. It can be exhausting. All of those things are still true, but at least I never feel like I'm doing it alone. Yeah. And so, cause I would love for you to sell this a, a little better, <laughs> a little more exciting. <laughs> Cause you're like, this is like, what's the, what's been different since you've been like, I'm guided by spirit. Well, I'm more excited than I have before. Well, <laughs> Now the I'm best trying not to burn out. <laughs> I got OJ Gangster next to me. Yeah, I think the best thing to say is just every aspect of my life has up leveled. Mm. Every single aspect of my go. life has up leveled, from financial to um, happiness to mm. um, my the depth of my connections, the opportunities. Yeah. Literally, everything everything that I'm doing in my life now, um, I can. I can equate to, and, and almost algorithmically, like I could tell you how that, that the million dollar client, for example, I could trace back what I needed to do and the various uh, up levels that I needed to experience, the various tests I passed to even get to that point. Yeah. Um, but the point is because I'm able to do that, because I can see the step-by-step that led me to these things, while other pe- people may just look at, a million dollars or a vi- 200 million views on a poem or like whatever it is, they may see those things. I can see what led to that. And so what I can confidently say is that, um, that my entire life has up leveled through that. And the, the difficulty is that it's like trying to explain 
um, a different language or a different planet to someone who's never been there. Mm -hmm. Like trying to explain virtual reality to, I went to Tanzania to build some clean water wells with Alexi Panos and, and Preston Smiles Preston, and yeah. trying to explain to some of those kids what virtual reality is when they're seeing cell phones for the very first, an iPhone for the first time is, is so hard. Yeah. In, in, instead of trying to do that for people, I just try and live the example. And yeah. you're someone that's now you've had a spiritual awakening and, you're, and like you're now someone who's living that example mm -hmm. where I'm not here to, to tell you all the various pieces of what's going to happen in your life. I'm here to let you see that if, if what I'm saying resonates with you, mm -hmm. if how I'm living my life resonates with you, if the things that are happening in my life are inspiring to you, mm -hmm. I'm letting you know that spirit is in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. And you take my word for it. I'm letting you know the path that I'm walking. You get to walk that path. You can hire coaches to help you. You can listen to podcasts to support you. You can read the books and all the things, but you get to make the choices mm -hmm. to make that your reality. And it's going to look unique to you. Yeah. But there's enough people that are living that mm -hmm. who are also successful business people who are also whatever. I, I want to make it cool. I want to make you show, show you that you don't have to give up money. You don't have to give up uh, what people want, money, sex, and power. This, these three things that I don't think are inherently wrong. I have more influence now. Uh, I have more following now. And I have um, more, I, I'm single now for the first time in my, <laughs> my, my adult life because I was in 11 straight years of relationship. So I'm not having sex because of COVID. Clear, like I'm not going on <laughs> dates, but like I'm getting a lot of attention from women. I have, and then as far as money, I have more money than I've ever had in my life. So like you can have all of those things in a conscious way. Mm -hmm. You can get all of those things by, by using love as a compass and, and mm. being devoted to spirit. Those things are not bad. The ideas that you've been sold, that they are bad or that it's, it's materialist or whatever, that is in and of itself a distortion that can be corrected when we have more leaders like yourself who have those things and are able to say, I am I'm getting those things at a higher level and I am happier than ever. And spirit and spirituality is a huge part of that. We need more leaders that are willing to speak to that.